Welcome! Today I have another fantastic fossil for us to check out. This is Protoceratops andrusii, which was named in 1923. Now this dinosaur was found as part of the expedition that Roy Chapman Andrews made to Mongolia in the 1920s as part of an expedition uh, backed by the American Museum of Natural History. Um, Roy Chapman Andrew was ultimately looking for early humans and found none, but he found tons of amazing dinosaurs, including this Protoceratops andrusii. Um, they also found dinosaur eggs and even velociraptors. So more stuff to come that we'll talk about later. Um, so again, this dinosaur is from Mongolia. Uh, the age is about it's late Cretaceous, so kind of thinking about the you know 80, 83 million years uh, ago for timing. Now Protoceratops is one of our Ornithischian dinosaurs. Uh, so it has a predentry, which we can see down here in the skull. This is the little scoop-shaped bone uh, right here on the bottom of the jaw. It has no teeth inside of it. Um, and then other things that we know that this is also a genosaurian, so it has cheeks. We can see that the tooth row right here is inset on the jawline. Um, it's a seropoda and it has a diastema, which is the a gap, the space between the cropping section here at the front and these chewing teeth at the back. Um, and then ultimately, we can see it's got this frill back here. So it is part of the marginalocephalian clade. Uh, because it has this ridge of bone, it does have this moderately developed frill kind of extending off the back. And if we were to look at our dinosaur kind of from the top, uh, these bones back here would be covering the back of the skull. So we can't see the rest of those bones back there. And that makes it a marginocephalian. Um, it's also a basal neoceratopsian. Uh, these all are found in Asia. So that's kind of the starting place for where our ceratopsians came from. Um, they are small. So looking at, you know, one to three meters in length. Uh, Protoceratops itself is quadrupedal. Um, it's also herbivorous. So eating lots of plants and again has this cool modern developed frill off the back. So we've gone through all of the features for how we can understand its classification. If we look at the pre-maxa level, see here, it does have some little teeth. Uh, now the number of teeth that it had would increase with age from eight to 15. Um, and when we look at the front, we can start to make some interpretations about how it was eating. So the beak at the front, we can see it's pretty narrow. Um, and again, the beak kind of extending off of this part in the predentary would be covered with uh, keratin, so protein giving it a nice little beak. Um, it is quite narrow, and the fact that it has these premaxillary teeth, which are sort of leaf-like in their shaping, um, suggests that this um, protoceratops was a selective eater. So they would use this fine little beak to go out and find the plants um, that it would want to eat, and it would get them and then crop them, use its tongue, which would hang out in that diastema, move them back towards this cropping section, do some chewing, and then swallow that food down. So Protoceratops, the formation that it's found in, um, the rocks suggest that they were Aeolian dunes. So we're thinking for a climate, hot, semi-arid, with some seasonality to the overall climate. Um, they were considered to be gregarious, and that's because multiple individuals have been found together, um, including in 2000, there was a discovery of 15 hatchlings of Protoceratops. So we know what they looked like when they were small. Uh, no eggs were found with them, but they were found all together. Um, and then we also have an idea for some of the food relationships because our protoceratops, there was one specimen that was found entangled with a velociraptor. Uh, so from the same age, they were living in the same environment together and they were caught and buried in their struggle between them. So we have evidence that uh, protoceratops was the likely prey and our velociraptor was the predator uh, in that ecosystem back during the late Cretaceous. So that's our introduction to to Protoceratops, one of our basal Neoceratopsians. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this investigation of Protoceratops. Uh, with that, I wish you a fantastic day full of science and lots of happy learning.